Hi, I'm Wolfgang Rieber and welcome to this month's Quick Tips. Today we're going to speak about anger management. Now, do you know what? When you get angry, it affects all sorts of things in your life. Not just your physical health and your mental health, but also your work, your relationships, everything around you. And I've got a quick question for you. Have you ever been so angry that the smoke literally comes out of your ears? Yeah? Or even worse, it comes out of your nose. I'm sure many of us have been this angry before. So how do you cope with it? Five quick tips. Tip one. Walk away. Just walk away, get into a different environment. Whether if you're at work, out of the work office environment, at home, out of the home, into the open somewhere. Just take a walk, take a break. Tip two, put your anger on hold. Remember as a child we were always told, count to ten before you react. That is really difficult to do. But try. Literally, when you get angry and livid, just take a step back, count to ten first. Think before you react. Makes a big difference. Tip three, learn to accept that there are morons out there that are going to irritate you. Regardless of what you do, how you educate them, how you train them, how you approach them, they're going to annoy you. Accept this. This acceptance makes it much easier to cope with them and not get angry with them. Tip four, if you cannot get rid of the anger by breathing deeply and understanding breathing techniques or by counting to 10, then your only alternative is to go and do some physical exercise. Something that pushes up your heart rate and is, that takes a lot of energy. For example, jumping on a trampoline for 25 minutes, doing 10 laps in a swimming pool, doing a heavy weight workout, going for a fast run somewhere. Just get rid of that internal anger convert it into physical energy and in that way you calm down. Tip five, the last of these quick tips, obviously there are many more, but tip five for me is the most important and that is learn to let go. If you live in the past, if you harbor hatred and keep all the bad things that have happened to you inside you, you're never going to be happy, relaxed, you're never going to be able to be a spontaneous, fun-loving person. So anything bad that happens, get over it, let it go, push it away, and then carry on with your life. That's a biggie in coping with anger. I trust these tips have assisted you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you around next time. Cheers.